Hey, good morning, Forever Family. It's Gregory here. We just wanted to put together a little video for you guys to give you an update on how things are going here so far in 2020. I will be going out in the warehouse and give you guys a little update about how we are moving in the warehouse regarding production. And I'm gonna also hand it over to Tim and Mr. Terry so they can give you an update on what's going on in their departments. Hey, how you guys doing? We are out in the warehouse now where I spend most of my time. Obviously, you can see in the back, the guys are obviously getting a lot of work done. We got a lot of shipments we're trying to get out. But um, over the last couple of weeks, we've been still doing pretty good with production. Our schedule is still got loads on it every week. We got incoming trucks, outgoing trucks. We got shipments every day that the guys are pulling based on our schedule that we ship out every week. And it's going pretty good. We have our guys taking our precaution regarding safety and everybody has their mask on. I'm obviously not because I, I want you to hear me, but um, it's going pretty good. So we got not as many orders going out today, but we are um, picking a lot of shipments and we'll probably live load a lot of them tomorrow. So I just wanted to give you an update on what we got going on the warehouse over here and I will pass it on to Araceli. Hi Forever Family, this is Araceli. Uh, just to let you know, we've been uh, keeping, due to COVID, we've been doing our social distancing, uh, washing our hands a lot, using sanitizers. Um, as far for me, um, my schedule's changed a little. I get to work half a day here and then half a day at home. Um, you know, being with inventory, I do have to be out in the warehouse a lot. And the good thing about there is that there's a lot of space out in the warehouse. So there's not a lot of bumping into people. Uh, but other than that, everything's running uh, full speed and we're just keeping safe. All right, hello guys. I hope you had fun with Araceli. This is Gregory again. I'm out in the warehouse with Marina, the big boss lady here in the warehouse. And I just wanted to give you all an update of what some stuff we had going on in the warehouse. Typically these Tetro packs here we will have a few of them in between aisles throughout the warehouse, but our guys have got together and a few aisles that we have these racks on, we have to raise them two inches to give all these Tetro packs a home. So therefore, a lot of our guys don't have to go around them when it comes to picking orders for other shipments. So production is going a lot faster. So that's a, a big improvement we have made in the warehouse um, within the last, I think, month or so. So outside of that, the warehouse is still good up and running, functioning, me being safe with our masks, of course, with COVID. So I will pass you on over to Mr. Jim. Good morning, forever. Jim Bogus, Director of Engineering from Oliver of America in Dallas, Texas. I just want to tell you guys, thank you for everything that you do. Uh, with the COVID-19, we have implemented all kinds of changes uh, to make sure that we are staying healthy and that we're able to produce products for you guys. We have increased our social distancing. We are you know, implementing face masks basically the entire time that we're here. We can't even have lunch together. We're having to separate our tables, keep our distance. Some people are having to work from home we're doing whatever it takes to make sure we can still provide the highest quality, safest products for our customers. So we know it's a tough time out there. I just want to say thank you for everything that you're doing and we're doing our best to make sure we can provide you with products. All right, we are going to take a tour out here and I'm going to tell you what we're going to do because it's really difficult to, to hear with all the background noise. But today we're making jelly. We are making Halo first and we are making our famous toothpaste forever bright um, we're also compounding blending some products on our on our compounding side I'm going to walk you through there and show our wonderful equipment show our wonderful people that are doing their best to provide these products for you so I just want to say thank you and let's take a tour out here All right. let's go
guys I hope you enjoyed the tour I don't know if you could hear me out there but uh, when I was on the blending side uh, I was showing you guys our process for manufacturing our cosmetics and our uh, lotion products so just be safe out there um, you know our, it, it's a real testament to our people uh, and being committed to forever since they've shut down uh, you know, all the restaurants and the businesses here, except for the essential ones, our staff have stayed healthy. They've been going to work and going home and pretty much that's it. So, um, you know, I, we really need to thank these guys for doing everything that they do to make sure that forever and our forever business owners have everything that they need to stay in business. I hope you guys stay safe. Um, thank you. Thank you very much. Hello Forever Living family, how are you today? I'm Terry and the Quality Director here at Aloe Vera of America in Dallas. We are going to take a tour of the Quality Control Laboratory. It is restricted access to preserve our data and the integrity of what we do in here. Welcome and come on in. This is our quality control laboratory and here we get all of these samples and the bulk come so that we can test it for the quality aspects that have been predefined. Over here is the area where a lot of our um, samples come in and they will come in through a sign-in process and through a hole in the wall. So it's like our little drop-off that we have here. Moving on through the process, all of our samples are logged in so we always keep a run and tally of what we have so we're able to uh, produce turnaround times and track where we are with everything going on so that we can keep the, the world stocked of forever living products, which is our goal. In here we have the analytical room. So in the analytical room, we have an array of different equipment. We have what we call HPLCs, which is high performance liquid chromatography. We prep the samples, we put it in there and look for particular items such as preservatives or aloin content. We might be looking at specific markers that we need to test and show that they exist. Over here we have what we call a GC mass spec. It's a very sophisticated piece of equipment and we have very highly qualified chemists working here with us that know what to do. This is Greg, and we really appreciate him and all the effort he puts forward to the company. He preps and looks for pesticides to make sure we don't have any contaminants in our product. This helps us maintain regulations for the countries and produce a safe and effective product for the consumer with no contaminants. Over here is some of our way up area. We need to protect our scales from any drafts or vibrations. So they're on marble tables, which keeps them absolutely still. And they have a shield around them so that the wind or anything going on in the room does not affect them. That way we always have precise and accurate data to produce. As you know, we all are wearing our protective wear here. We wear goggles, we wear gloves when wearing it, we wear our lab coats. This helps protect us from any of the harmful chemicals that we utilize in the lab. During this time, we're wearing face masks because of the COVID-19 pandemic going on in the world. And we have also staggered our shifts and we are working basically 24-5 to support production so that all of the um, incoming samples get released and turned around in an adequate amount of time. Over here, we're doing some titrations to determine acid content and ascorbic acid values. All of our products, like I had pointed out, go through rigorous testing to ensure that we 
deliver consistently the same quality each and every time. Over here are some of the samples that we get from our plantations where the aloe vera of itself is grown. We then take the fillets, uh, leaf them, peel them, grind them up, and turn it into our um, base product, which is the aloe vera. So we have control from farm to factory to lab to manufacturing to the consumer so that everything is as it should be. As we go ahead and make our way on through the laboratory, you can see people hard at work and our daily load is always abundant. We have um, endless amounts of samples coming in each and every day. Everyone maintains a very busy profile. We are here to turn out the quality work. We have instrumentation over here, and this is another chemist hard at work determining identity. So per our code of federal regulations in America, we're required to prove identity. This is one of the equipments that does that. It's FTIR, which is Fourier Transform Infrared um, Analysis. It produces a fingerprint that's unique to every chemical, much like the fingerprints on a human. The chemicals have that as well, and so we can match it to what it truly is. More workspace where people get more stuff done. Over here we have a chemist hard at work. He works with our stability, and um, stability is a requirement, again, from the government and the Code of Federal Regulations where we prove the shelf life of all of our product. I can take you on a little bit more tour when we get to the stability chamber room and explain that in greater detail. Again, we have more equipment back here to determine bricks and pH values to show that um, what we're manufacturing is of quality. We work with one of our companies known in the industry and we now have three mascots in the lab. We have a nerd bird, we have a unicorn and we have a llama. We're very thankful. <laughs> we have to have some fun as we have through the day. So it can't be all work and no play, but it is all work 99.9% .9 of the time. Dangerous chemicals are handled within a fume hood as to not expose the laboratory and the workers different equipment and samples that we have here. This is a viscometer. A viscometer is used to determine the thickness of a product. In here we have an extra room. All of our chemicals are maintained in flammable cabinets to prevent explosion and a corrosive cabinet to prevent any spill of uh, acidic or alkaline chemicals that could cause harm. These are retains that are in process of being tested. As you can see, as I've talked about before, we do have copious amounts of samples that go through this laboratory on a daily basis. These are our environmental chambers that we have that monitor a particular temperature and relative humidity that would be determined from the environment out in the real world. We put our samples in there, test at prescribed times, and this becomes our stability profile so that we can stand behind the expiration date we put on each and every one of our products. Going back into the main laboratory, and outside of the chemical and analytical laboratory, we also have a microbiological laboratory. In here, we have microbiologist hard at work. And um, samples are brought in. We determine aerobic plate count to make sure there's no microbial contamination yeast and mold determination to make sure there's no contamination from there. And we also test for pathogens, E. coli, salmonella, pyrogenosa, all of these items are looked at and evaluated under specific 
uh, microbial methodologies to ensure that the product is safe for consumption. All of the products are logged and documented, so we have full traceability going across um, all the items that come within the laboratories. We also determine preservative effectiveness in here to ensure that the preservatives that we put in our products, if they are inside of them, some are preservative free, but this makes sure that the preservative is effective. Hi, and we have a Zab over here who is our laboratory manager in the microbiology department. Hi. <laughs> and again, reminders that keep us going and allow us to work. We are currently also working towards accreditation with ISO 17025, which is world recognized to show excellence, repeatability, and reliability of all data coming out of our laboratory. We would already be accredited if it weren't for the pandemic, which had pushed it off several months, but um, we are ready to do it as soon as it opens back up for business again. And that concludes the um, tour and the look into the daily life of the quality control laboratories here at Aloe Vera of America so that we can support the forever living family. We're much appreciative of all that you do for us and the excellent products that you have supplied to us so that we have a livelihood here in Dallas. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the tour and the updates of how we running things here at LO due to the COVID. We are still getting a lot of stuff done due to the fact that a lot of people are still working from home due to the social distancing and just being safe. We are um, doing a lot more of communication through email and stuff due to a lot of the coworkers are working from home and not having as many visitors as we normally would just to prevent any more interaction than most. Um, a lot of our group meetings are done online and virtual online, of course, which is very helpful. So um, hopefully you have any questions, please contact us and hopefully, hopefully we will see you soon.